Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. The Lord is the King of Apostles, come let us adore him. The Lord is the King of Apostles, come let us adore him. Come ring at our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. The Lord is the King of Apostles. Come let us adore him. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. The Lord is the King of Apostles, come let us adore him. Come in, let us bow, men low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we, the people that belong to his pasture the flock that is led by his hand. The Lord is the King of Apostles, come let us adore him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Had not your heart as at Mariba, as on that day at Mass or in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my word, the Lord is the King of Apostles, come let us adore him. For forty years I was weird of these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger. Never shall they enter my rest. The Lord is the King of Apostles. Come let us adore him. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Lord is the King of Apostles. Come, let us adore him. O Peter, who were named by Christ, the guardian shepherd of his flock, protect the church he built on you, to stand unyielding firm on rock. Your weakness, Christ, exchange for strength. You faltered, but he made you true. He knew the greatness of your love and gave the keys of heaven to you. Unseen eternal trinity, we give you glory, praise your name. Your love keeps faith with faithless men. 
Through change and stress you are the same. The Lord said to Simon, Do not fear. From now on you will be a fisher of men. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you. Like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Lord said to Simon, Do not fear. From now on you will be a fisher of men. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Blessed are you, Simon Peter. O all you works of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you angels of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you the heavens of the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you clouds of the sky, O bless the Lord. And you all armies of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you sun and moon, O bless the Lord. And you the stars of the heavens, O bless the Lord. And you showers and rain, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you all you breezes and winds, O bless the Lord. And you fire and heat, O bless the Lord. And you cold and heat, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you showers and dew, O bless the Lord. And you frost and cold, O bless the Lord. And you frost and snow, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you night time and day, O bless the Lord. And you darkness and light, O bless the Lord. And you lightning and clouds, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. O let the earth bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you mountains and hills, O bless the Lord. And you all plants of the earth, O bless the Lord. And you fountains and springs, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you rivers and seas, O bless the Lord. And you creatures of the sea, O bless the Lord. And you every bird in the sky, O bless the Lord. And you wild beasts and tame, O bless the Lord. 
To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you children of men, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O oh, Israel, bless the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you priests of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O oh, bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, O oh, bless the Lord. Ananias, Azarias, Misael, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. To you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Blessed are you, Simon Peter. The Lord said to Peter, To you I will give the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Sing a new song to the Lord. His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let sons and exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing. And make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes the light in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron to carry out the sentence preordained. This honour is for all his faithful. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Lord said to Peter, To you I will give the keys of the kingdom of heaven. God chose that the pagans should learn the good news from me, and so become believers. In fact, God, who can read everyone's heart, showed his approval of them by giving the Holy Spirit to them just as he had to us. God made no distinction between them and us, since he purified their hearts by faith. You will make them rulers over all the land. You will make them rulers over all the land. Your name, Lord, will be remembered. You will make them rulers over all the land. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You will make them rulers over all the land. The Lord said to Simon Peter, I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And when you have repented, you must strengthen your brothers.
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour. In the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of only men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would freeze from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled. And his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father. To grant us that free from fear. And save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice. All the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness. Those who dwell in the shadow of death and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Lord said to Simon Peter, I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail, and when you have repented, you must strengthen your brothers. Since we have received from the apostles our heavenly inheritance, let us thank our Father for all his blessings. Lord the apostles, sing your praises. Praise to you, Lord God, for the gift of Christ's body and blood, handed on by the apostles, to give us strength and life. Lord, the apostles, sing your praises. For the table of your word, served by the apostles, to bring us light and joy. Lord, the apostles, sing your praises. For your holy church, built on the apostles, to make us all one body. Lord, the apostles, sing your praises. For the washing of baptism and penance, entrusted to the apostles, to cleanse our hearts from sin. Lord, the apostles, sing your praises. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, as you built your church on the rock of Peter's faith, grant that with such a firm foundation we may hold fast in every storm. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.